fix that. <laughs> and then um, there's the Christian community where they're saying, pray about it, which is absolutely true. But at the same time, the God that you claim to worship, one of the things that we call him is the great counselor. So how are you, how are you shunning counseling when your God is a counselor and a healer? So healing comes with counseling. And at the same time, Jesus even went through what we know as anxiety. When he was, he went up to the mountain and he was talking to God. He said, if, he basically said, if you can let this cup pass. If you, me, if you will, Lord. You know, like, oh, if I want to take that up off of me, please. And thank yeah, you. Give it. <laughs> that was anxiety. Yeah. And then he said, you know, but if I got to do it, I guess I'm going to do it for these people. That was a form of anxiety. But the thing is, what people don't realize, God or Jesus, it was only that fear was only released from him when he went to God about it. So that is, it's, yeah, it's just like counseling is very necessary, even if it isn't a formal counselor, just talking and actually getting it out and writing it down. And if you feel like you need to go to somebody who can actually uh, give you more pra practical steps or I don't want to say <laughs> prescribe you medication, but if you, can, you need to go to a professional, then I feel like that's something everyone in their lifetime should do at least once. There's nothing wrong with going to counseling. It does not mean you're, you're crazy. It doesn't mean that you're less than. It just means that you've noticed something in your mental health or in your life that needs to change and you are being intentional about making that change. Oh, wow. That was so great. Love uh, it.